Don't hold babies by their feet, especially if you don't even know them. Are we live, Matt? We are. And remember, no swearing for the first few minutes. Have we sworn yet? Oh, I was Not so yet, tempted to so, swear. It was close. I what were you going to say? The F word. No. Not oh. for three minutes. But it's so hard not to now. I'll give you the thumbs up when it's good to go. Which F word? It rhymes with duck. I said duck. You or duck, an idiot. You. That's... They're going to... I reckon... They'll, they'll know. They'll still be upset. No, it'll work. All right. We'll duck. We'll uh, episode number 31, Marty Mark Foy actually comes straight out of Michael's basement here in Hotel LA, right? It's Australian, Australian episode for you today. We've got Australians on board. We've got Australia. We're going to talk about uh, questions you guys have. We're going to explain some shit. Matt's got a funny new story he wants to say to us. We've got diary entries. We've got all sorts of shit coming your way straight out of Australia. <laughs> we got some letters too, the PO on box. And we have some big fucking news. <clears throat> oh, man. Wait, before we get into the big news, I'm pretty fucking sure that these are the coder dude. So, the coder guy, Michael, thinks has sent us three separate letters. And if that's the case, this PO box is going to be so shit. <laughs> but we'll see. Send us some more shit, guys. We're getting a bit dry on the fucking. There's our PO box. Oh, now, oh, the big news. Yeah, sorry. Dude, you might think, what the fuck? They're dressed weirder than they usually are. First of all, you should see Matt. And second of all, there's a reason why we're wearing these elegant clothes. We just had our first little photo shoot for our OnlyFans. Here's a cat on the back, boys. There's a cat on the back. So now we're going to put these photos and like, we tried to make it like quite artistic. Um, so there's like hidden metaphors in there. Um, yeah. And we're happy with it. You know, it was like 10, 11 hours of work. Um, we even paid a professional photographer to come. They're, it's pretty good. It was good. <laughs> yeah, we had to hire a whole space and then they sort of did it up um, to make it look like a It looked a like my room. Yeah, and like, yeah, the end result, it's pretty crazy. Like, we, we went all out. We spent like, what, 8K on these? Was that a squirt? Was it Matthew? It wasn't me. <laughs> Excuse me. My ears don't lie to me. <laughs> I heard it coming from your direction. My left headphone said. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to be the OnlyFans. It got approved. The OnlyFans is approved. So now we'll put the OnlyFans link in the description of our YouTube video. Okay. So if you want to have a look, we're going to make it free. You just sign up and you can have a look at the photos. All right. They're there finally. Um, are we, I don't know if we'll put the link in the Instagram yet just because we're a bit scared of it getting like... Because Instagram hates OnlyFans. Is that still on? Are you talking about the tennis later? <laughs> 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 Something else. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, Instagram oh, hates OnlyFans. So, we're just going to put it in the description of the YouTube mm. to begin with. So, Marty Michael, fully actual, episode number 31. It'll be titled something about OnlyFans. So. Um, yeah, other than that, look, we had a little meet and greet last week, didn't we, hey? Yeah, it was very nice. Very lovely. So, yeah, <laughs> we went to New Farm Park. You know that charity raffle we did? Yes, I do. Well, we, we live streamed on Facebook, not on our page, on their page, us <sighs> picking the winner. And the funniest fucking thing happened. They were there? Who? Oh, dude, you don't know yet. Oh, no. yeah. This is fucking. This dude. is so fucking awkward. So, there's, a, there's like a regulator comes. So, like, there's someone who oversees everything to make sure we're not cheating. Like, it's sort of like a, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. They're important people. I mean, like- They're a, like governors. A, a raffle regulator. Yeah, yeah. Literally a, a charity raffle regulator. If a you judge. Like shit, if there's like large amounts of money involved- they're Commission. They've got to be there. Anyway, so we told uh, you know people on Instagram, like, oh, we're going to be in New Farm Park from 1 p.m. doing this live stream thing. We had some fucking fans rock up. It was very lovely. Lovely to meet you all. It was. Some fucking legends amongst the ranks. I'll fucking tell you, brother. Well, there's I think a Horror Vamp from YouTube. She said she was there. She was really happy to meet you. Horror Vamp. Yeah, I don't know what her actual name is, but I think she's under Horror Vamp. Yeah, yeah there you go. On the UOM group? Uh, maybe both, yeah. I don't know. I saw her comment today. She said she was psyched when she met you. So. Um, yeah, but there's some fucking good dudes there. Um, and chicks. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, started fucking 
So as we're throwing all these names in of oh. all the people who have bought raffle tickets, so there's like thousands. So I just pick up a stack, and you know we jokingly like read the top, the top of the fucking the first name, we're like oh good luck, bloody Amanda Bailey or whatever, and then put the whole bundle of names in. Pick up another bundle, oh good luck Ben Johnson. Put the whole bundle in. Anyway, I kept doing that. Then the very last bundle I had, I the pick up the name. Should we got, change his name? No. Nah. I want everyone to know who he is. Okay. Riley. I was like, Riley <laughs> Flynn, dude, don't worry. I'm going to make sure you win this and then throw his bundle in. And then the chick starts twirling the fucking raffle thing. All <clears throat> names going fucking everywhere. And then she pulls name out and it's fucking Riley Flynn. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, it was so awkward. And the fucking charity guy's like, oh, no, you guys know him. Oh, do you guys know him? Like freaking out, thinking that we knew who this guy was. Like, no, oh, out. it was just like a sarcastic call that just went right. But yeah, fucking Riley won. And then everyone freaked out for a bit, but then it was okay. And they were like, oh, it's, it's still fair. Because we don't know who Riley Flynn is. We tried to call him. He didn't answer. But he wins. So congrats. You cut on the back, Riley. I don't know. Hey, could you explain something for me? And I'm sure other Here people want to know. Um, I notice whenever. Oh shit! Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sponsor. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, they're coming. We'll get it's to coming. It, right? It's fucking coming. <laughs> fucking, they can fucking wait. Yeah, I thought you said we had to try and get to it in the first like five minutes. <laughs> fuck the fuck them. <laughs> fuck the sponsors. If you're watching sponsors, you fucking sit down and you wait. On with the story, Matt. Even out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Um. Sorry. I want to know. There's a every time there's a competition or a raffle or something along those lines that's done on Instagram, and I've noticed it with yours and many others. There seems to be this parade of scammers that come through oh. with fake accounts. Is that so around? Fucked. Is that always? Yeah, they, I can you explain making, that? Yeah, they're making. It's impossible for us to block them all. I went through one day and blocked like twenty to thirty Facebook pages. Sam on Instagram, and they just keep popping up. So if if unless we've you've heard it from our mouth, don't fucking believe it's us. Don't ever put your credit card details in somewhere weird. All right, because it is a fucking scammer, and they are very good. Very good, my friend. Sometimes I even thought it was us and signed up. I have. So they got me and they're like <laughs> pretending to be me. So just watch out, man. They've got fucking. I've been just transferring money from back and forth yeah. from my own accounts. Scamming himself and shit, man. <laughs> he has to pay tax on that every time. Yeah. Is there different banks? <laughs> Anyway, um, we also fucking, that was fun. The, the raffle, and then we went and had lunch <coughs> with the fans that rocked up. It was lovely. It's just abs- simply stunning. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, it was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, wasn't it? <laughs> and then, What else happened? Um, not much. Last week, we filmed our little tits off. We're fucking, what did we get out? What, what have we got out the on the website? Huh? The weekend? Yeah, nothing really. You quiet weekend. went. Oh, you went jet skiing with fucking karting. wake surfing, wake, 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 wake surfboarding, wake surfboarding. Yeah, I think I it's believe. like when you're not surfing, strapped in. It's like a, a board. Board. Mm. Very mm. fun. Have you done that, Matt? Yeah, but I'm not very good at it. I'm a bit dangly. Fuck, yeah. I reckon, man. I'd be so shit. Oh, no, at that, man. Still, I reckon you'd get it. Yeah, yeah. You same had good here. motivation, though. I saw a video of Jackson screaming at you, so I felt like if I had Jackson yelling at me, I'd. I'd I think I get it done. Yeah, it was good. But uh, yeah, and uh, no, what else happened? We're fucking the reach restrictions gone in five weeks. It's pretty cool. Yeah, wow. Five. Is that on Facebook? Can't yep. believe it's been a year almost. I know it's fucking it's been, nuts. It's gone so fast. Fuck me, I can't wait for that to fuck. And I hope it just fucks off on exactly three hundred and sixty-five days, and not like a few weeks after. Because so some of the Facebook people have told me it could still be a few weeks after. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's but, so um, shit. Surely, surely they'll fuck off. Or at least surely now we can contact them and be like, hey, look, it's been a year. You said a year, bitch. I'll say that. Yeah. With venom in my voice. Anyway, this this sponsor this sponsor is podcasted by Manscaped. All right. If you need your male grooming products, if you need if you need uh ball deodorant, shavers like that, this is what we use now, all right? They're pretty fucking good. Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual 20 for 20% off everything. You're basically saving. It's stupid not to spend money because you're saving it. Yeah, it's a bargain. 100%, man. Man, our sales skills have picked up, haven't they? 
<laughs> I'm too high, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's had too much. All right. Um, and much. also, of course, our fucking subscription website. All right. The University of Markle. Last week's episode was 45 minutes long. And it's got like bits of the behind the scenes for our van photo shoot. Because um, we're going to get it wrapped in some sick fucking pictures. I'm going to skull this. And then I'm going to Pass see out. if I can do the sickest burp possible. All right. I'm okay with that. It's a 1.25 litre bottle for those who don't can't see this thing. All right, here we go. He's exhaling now. He's looking down the barrel of the bottle. He's paused. <coughs> he's clearing his throat. Mm, yeah, he's swallowed. All right, he's getting ready now. All right, and now he's mentally repaired. And he's beginning. All right, he's drinking. Seems pretty easy so far. The bottle is tilting up slowly. His eyes are looking around like it's nothing. It's casual. Still quite a slow pace. I think maybe he's had maybe, I wouldn't even say a fifth of the whole bottle. Oh, he looks a bit panicked now, now that I've said that. Yeah, there's a bit of panic in his eyes. The same casualness he had before, it is now completely stripped. He's moving around. He's grimacing in pain. It looks like he's really struggling now. He's sort of writhing around. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. He couldn't get it all down. Here we go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's fucking going down with it, man. Everything's been going crazy and shit. Oh, yeah, 45-minute episodes of the pod to the subscription website. And I forget what we did, but it was pretty crazy. <laughs> so, you can go and see all of... There's like 170 videos. Some of them, are, yeah, like I said, 45 minutes long. <laughs> You sit down and you watch them all in 21 days during the free trial. You unsubscribe. You got nothing to lose. Anyway. (laughs) 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 Matthew Brown is sitting in a sequins dress and a man blonde wig. It's like a little mullet. Can we show you, Matt, or you don't want to be on camera? Oh, no, like, you have to see it at the OnlyFans. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's true. Well, what, but it's I, free. Why don't I bounce in and bounce out really quickly? Yeah, you could do that too, yeah. Because the photos, yeah, they're quite spectacular. They're, they're really well taken. They're wonderful. Yeah, like real, really professional. So picture this, but really professional. See, little slut. That was double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That brings us to this week's diary entries, everybody. I feel sick too much liquid. (coughs) Diary entry number 138 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. Today, I want to try and write a poem. BB, just look at me. I BB, just wait and see. If you can be just a little more B, watch me pee. Watch me pee. It took me six hours and I didn't really like it. At least now I can rule out that I don't want to be a poet. I tried and I didn't like it much. You got to try more shit. That's a life motto I've always said. Try more shit. That wasn't a bad poem. <laughs> oh, I actually did write a poem like that <laughs> about a friend when I was in like primary school. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Diary entry number 107 from Marty. <clears throat> Today I found a dead bird. I had never had a pet before and I named the bird Cryptus. I took Cryptus with me everywhere and we did everything together. I got so close that I even told Cryptus some of my secrets. He started to smell really bad, but I got used to it. Cryptus slowly <laughs> fell to pieces over the next two weeks, but I think I know what being loved feels like now. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> Cryptus, dude. That is such a good day. <laughs> I want to see a picture of Cryptus. Well, I didn't take any photos of him and he's gone now, so let's not fucking talk about it anymore. Fucking Cryptus. That's like almost as good as Requifton. Fuck. We've all got... We've all got demons. Oh. We've all got demons in us. <laughs> Cryptus helped me through mine. <laughs> I reckon he, just having him for two weeks added like six years of life to me. Because I was in a bad way, man. 
And that bird listened. It was the only one who ever listened to me. <laughs> Fucking Cryptus. How do you spell it? C R I P T U S. Okay. Cryptus. Cryptus. It's actually sort of. It's sexy. like a cool name. It's kind of sexy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Mm, Cryptus the stripper. Diary engine number six nine from Julian James Tennyson Woods. Yeah. 4060 from Ash Grove. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> I was down at the abort. <laughs> I was down at the abortion clinic with my cousin today and this fucking nerd doctor kept trying to talk to me about safe sex. So I told him I'd rather have a few kids running around than wear a dom. Child support is fuck all when you're on Centrelink. Ha ha, yeah, stab, stab. Also, I drew a mad portrait of Cursor. Took me like three months and shit. I'll never show him, but it's just hanging up in my bedroom. Stab, stab, push, fence, fence, stab, uppercut, twist it, bop it, bop it, twist it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was good. That was good. That's hmm. good. Yeah, Julian does hate safe sex. With Bop a, it. With a passion. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you played those little machines? Bop it. Yeah. Twist it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what he's talking about. Such good memories. I never really played that game much. Really? I wonder if they still have them. That's good. Ah! <laughs> My sight flashed back for a second. <laughs> I had a flashback. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> I had a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Diary entry number 1075. Wait, is that me? Fucking... Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've even forgot what we said. He <laughs> screamed. Oh, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. My God, I was just noises. <laughs> fucking noises. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, here we go. You ready, Matt, for your diary entry? Oh, fuck. Oh, he's taking his slutty skirt off. Oh, man. <clears throat> diary entry number 1075 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> I had managed to slither my way through an outside vent and even squeeze my body through gaps no wider than a magazine by relaxing my body so intensely that I became somewhat of a brown liquid. I would then pass through the gap and begin to solidify again. I even made it through a spinning ventilation fan by changing my form into a brown gas and got blown into an opening in the ceiling right above the female toilets at the park. Once I had solidified again, I, stra I struggled to contain my excitement. My entire body was trembling, and I kept humming the song Fireworks by Katy Perry very loudly. I let my mind relax and controlled my breathing. I had finally accomplished one of my dreams, and it was time to get my reward. After a few more minutes, the door finally swung open and a lady walked in. She had a limp and she was morbidly obese. She looked about 60 years old. My little brown wasn't showing much interest. She limped to the closest toilet stall and peeled her tight shorts down. As soon as her huge ass touched the toilet seat, a high-pressure stream of thick tar exploded from her. It sounded like mud being shot into a brick wall. I knew I was in trouble when I saw steam from her holes rising up towards me and I braced for impact. The steam slapped into my face and the heat was unbearable. Hearing my skin sizzle was the last thing I heard as the fumes rendered me unconscious and I fell. When I came to, I was lying on my back and my pants were down. I had second degree burns to my face and neck and my brown mints were slopped on my legs and chest. My little brown was also covered in blisters and burns but seemed strangely satisfied. I looked to my left and saw there was a small trail of my mints going out the door. I shot up, pulled my pants up and followed the trail. It led outside and as I looked up, I I saw it lead to a table in the distance, and there, sitting, looking, looking over at me, was the foul beast I had just watched spray her steaming hot sludge into the toilet. Her eyes met and fear ran through my body. She looked over at me and I saw her scoop more of my mince out of her gash and slap it on the table in front of her. The trail of mince was coming from her slit. I realized then that she had had me. She had had me. 
I panicked and started bounding backwards. I did not dare take my eyes off of the creature, and I bounded backwards all the way back to my ute. Then I reversed home. I could not believe what had just happened. Fuck. <laughs> Matt got fucked, I can't. Right? You got fucked there, for sure. No, he he fucked her. No, I think he fell down and he came to and she had fucking fucked him while he's unconscious. <laughs> oh my God, dude. That was very good. I think it's up for interpretation. Oh. So you... Yeah, wow. Okay, fucking hell. That took me on an adventure in my mind. Yeah, Thank it really you. paints a vivid picture. Thank you, Matthew. Steam rising from her holes. <laughs> what a sentence. Ah! <laughs> All right, so what else we got on today? We got questions. We got, we got some P.O. Box <laughs> letters. We got prank call at the end. And we got Matt's got a funny news. And we're going to try and explain some more shit, man. Because I think we explained some shit pretty well last week. All right, guys. We're going to run into the questions now. By the way, keep the questions and shit coming. The explaining shit was fun. Keep that shit coming, man. If you want us to answer your fucking questions, comment your question on the YouTube channel. And then the ones with the most likes, we try and answer first and we work our way down and get through a couple, okay? Keep asking the questions if you want us to answer it. We'll get there eventually, I promise. And have a look through and see which other questions you like and give them a like. Because then they'll go up higher and we'll think, oh, people want us to answer that question. And so on and so forth. If you can't afford to sign up to the website, that's fine. But all we ask, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to be like PewDiePie, Matt. I'm not going to have a call to action. Just do it from the heart. Is that what he called it? Mm. That's what the YouTube industry called it. You should always have a call to action. Shut up. If people love you, but it does work. <laughs> but that's just because it works. Should we I mean, do I would it? ever. No, no. Look, the options are there, everyone. If you want to. If you liked the video, well, you know, you, you know what to do if you liked it enough. And if you want to comment, you can comment. And if you see the subscribe button, but only if you feel like it, definitely not in any way, shape or form trying to pressure you guys to do anything you don't want to yeah, do. Yeah, if you can't be fucked, subscribe. you can't be fucked. Yeah, just enjoy it. Just if like, you fucking sprawl across your bed and the speaker's fucking down on the floor or something, <laughs> just just stay in bed. Don't worry about it. I'm not, I, I don't want to... It's probably dangerous if you're in the car to do it. Yeah. You but in fact yeah just just don't do it Oof. don't do it okay well if you want if you it's want up to you it. yeah that's all we're saying you have the choice <laughs> can we move on <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. All right. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Bring on the questions, my brown. All right. Top question came from Noah, and he changed his name on YouTube because I am shit house at pronouncing his last name, and I think I'm still struggling with it. So it's from Noah Yashik. Yashik. Yaz Heck. I'm going to go Yars Heck. All right. Top question. Um, could you boys tell the story about the time you all got pulled over and had drugs in your car? Marty had cocaine. Michael had weed in your pockets. Episode 27, season two. You mentioned this, but you didn't explain the whole story and said there's more to the story. That was a very wild and uh, horrible time of our lives. Yeah. Very, very crazy, unpredictable times of our life. And... Um, Eventually, when uh, I get around to writing the book, you'll all fucking know. But yeah, there's um, we can't really talk about it. It's, it is illegal. There is a, a little bit more of that story, and I, I think I remember how we talked about it. But yeah, basically, we just got pulled over, like a couple of bags on us, and the car was flagged already because Michael had fucking been caught with weed. Mm. And and um, so they pulled us over, and they're like straight away like, "Is there anything in the car that shouldn't be?" 
Yeah, they were testing us, and yeah. I had the I was hiding was the so nervous. hiding the bag like on my in my under my pants, but I wasn't wearing any underwear, so the bag was just sitting on my dick. So if they <laughs> if they told me to get out of the car, it sort of fallen <clears> straight out. <laughs> Gonski's come, but they're like, mm, all right, then breathalyze us, and then off we fucking went, come. And it was very scary. Michael had to, cr- he had a weed in his hand, he just started crushing it on the floor because the floor was so dirty with <laughs> bottles. <laughs> it hit it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why we have dirty cars. Yeah, exactly. Because no well, one wants no. to go through that shit. Yeah, true. But the van's clean. Yeah, yeah, the van is. We are respecting the van. <laughs> for now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Last like a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, next question is from uh, Raphael. Um, question for the podcast. Why is Michael always accepting or s- submissive when Marty is cheating while they hurt each other? You always accept it. You take it. You did a fluffy puppy. <laughs> <laughs> A little fluffy. Um, oh, why? I guess I'm just can't be fucked a lot of the time. <laughs> um, I've worn him down. <laughs> yeah, you just get used to it. I've worn him right down. <laughs> <laughs> like the amount of cheating. Holy shit. Mm. But yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, and and it's just it's fucking it it like because Michael does try and stop me from cheating, but if I can find a way to cheat without him knowing, it's always it's just it's just funny, and I've I've found a way around his little the little rules, you know. So it's just it's just a funny thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think it's just funny when Michael gets hurt too. <clears throat> Like he just, runs away. It's just his reaction is just funny. He I took don't know. a whole like chunk out of you. Two hundred and fifty gel blaster bullets. Yeah, I just I do because in our around. in our website we asked them. We said who wins. Like we had a game in our recent website video, and we asked the audience who do you think won. We put a poll up. They voted for Michael. So as punishment, I had to take a fucking whole fucking thing of fucking gel blasters, stomach and shit. But the point is, it wasn't funny. But that he would have had to like fully just channeled the pain. It's almost. It was like so torture. long. It was like fifteen seconds at least, probably longer, of him just spinning around, taking like shot after shot, machine gun. It would have hurt. He didn't even react. That's fucked up, Matt. Sorry, you feel that way, man. Can you do it? Yeah. Can we do it to you? A whole clip of gel blaster. <laughs> it's like 500 bullets, but we filled it up halfway. Might take up some time. Maybe later. Yeah, okay. So, are you okay? Um, I don't know, man. Next one. Next is from... Uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Clissa Adams. Um, if you guys could choose your own stage names, what would they be? Like, what do you mean? Like, if we were performers? Yeah, if you were performers. So, you know, you might not... Be Marty, you might be something else. People in performing in stand up or actors usually change their names. Sink from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> sink from the kitchen. Sink from the kitchen. That's what your name would be. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Hearing that come out. And um I don't know. Oh geez. Um how do you bloody top that? Sink from the kitchen. Um <laughs> maybe um Garda. <laughs> Garda. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Garda. Garda. It's like Gandhi's brother. Garda. Is that a word? Garda? It is now, dude. Yeah. Or isn't like that a, a piece of <laughs> like women's clothing? A Garda? Or I could be like a Garda, like I guard things. Oh, guard. A Garda? I'm a Garda. Next question. <laughs> a, guard, a guard for you, man. Next question. And then the sink with the kitchen comes on. I guard it. <laughs> I'm, guard, I'm guarding the sink. He's dressed like a kitchen sink. It's and he's running around in the kitchen. <laughs> it's always and, a clean sink. And I'm at the front of the stage guarding him. No one can wash their dishes. No one can me. watch. Everyone has to turn around and face the other way too. <laughs> no one in the audience can watch. Garter. What would Matt be? Matt would be the stage. <laughs> it's, yeah it's like a a concrete stage yeah <laughs> the, the concrete stage matthew 
<laughs> okay. That's who Matt is. That's who Matt is. We'd have to like perform on him. <laughs> Next question <laughs> is from My Noose is Loose. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, this is the guy who asked about the timers for your fuck. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. by the way. So, he asked, uh, can we have a timer for Marty's farts and each season have a season high for longest farts? Dude, that is such a good I've idea. I've got it here ready. He's got, Michael's got a timer. Um, we might mix it in with Connor, though, won't we? Yeah, we might see if... Um, fuck, I don't know how to use it, though. God damn it. Yeah. Technology. Next question. Oh, shit. I forgot who it was and I removed it already. But um, if you boys could learn another language besides German, what would yeah. it be? It's ready to go. Um, I'd probably learn... Um, <laughs> You're sort of torn between practicality and like the way it's like it sounds, eh? Maybe like fucking hell, man. Some crazy weird language. What do Eshes speak? Pig Latin. Maybe a bit of pig Latin. Could be cool. Impress impress Julian's friends. Or maybe maybe like Moroccan. <laughs> what do they do in Morocco? <laughs> Oh fuck! We're gonna have to cut that. <laughs> just so yeah, you're insulting them. <laughs> I'm insulting the Moroccans. Yeah. Surely that's how they talk. Because <laughs> oh, of the the, 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 name, the like, sound of the name. Moroccan, yeah, Moroccan. It sounds like someone who like speaks a, like this. <laughs> <laughs> named the country. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. So okay. shit. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Connor, I'm going to leave that one up to you, okay? If you if you think people are Moroccans will be offended, you you cut that, all of this, but if you think it's all right, you leave everything in, even this explanation. I don't mean offend the Moroccans, but that's what I think you guys sound like. <laughs> oh my god! What language do they speak in I'm Morocco? Down, I'm finding out. <laughs> It'd be Spanish, <laughs> no, or yeah. Portuguese. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's yeah, I fine. think Michael could be right. No, they speak Arabic. We're way off. Oh, dude, we sound like such dumb cunts. I had a feeling because it's in that Arabic. part of Africa that's it's more Arabic. Morocco. <laughs> anyway, He's so that's what Spanish to us. <laughs> Well, I thought you might be right because it is it's so close to Spain. Yeah, oh, I thought really? it was I thought it was one of them languages. But yeah, cut it down to be as less offensive. Unless as you, it, can. you think it is offensive, in which case just delete it and I'll answer it again. So this is my but leave all of this in if you're leaving it in. <laughs> because I'll answer I'll give another answer, okay? I'd learn how to speak. Maybe <laughs> Maybe Norway? Norwegian. Technically, yesterday. Maybe some Norway? Mo, 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 mo. That's how Norway speak. Uh, no, no. I don't know. Tu, tu, tu. Uh, Norwegian's like, oh no, that's um, Scandinavia. Wait, <laughs> that's how you say hello in Norway. In Norway's. <laughs> <laughs> that's getting worried. Is, is it called Norway's? <laughs> No, yeah, it's Norwegian. Norwegian. No, no, I'm pretty sure they just changed <laughs> no. it recently, man. Yeah, I the thought World, it was Norwegian. Yeah, the World well. Health Organization wrote an article saying it's Norway's now. It's for <laughs> fucking hell. Why did I fucking ask that question? I should have read that question and knew. <laughs> Wait, Michael has given me. Yeah, answer. I don't know. I'd, I'd learn. Well, maybe some um, French. Or? Uh, no, I don't know. Probably. Maybe, uh, maybe oh. some Mongola. Mongola. <laughs> Mongola, what they speak in Mongolia? Mongolian. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's what I'd learn. Anyway, uh, next question. <laughs> that fucking went weird, man. Next question is from uh, Tian Van Lil. Oh, shit. If it happens uh, that you end up on the Impulsive podcast, which is Logan Paul's podcast. <laughs> Fuck. Would you still act the same the way as you do on your podcast? I think so. You'd have to show him a squirty. Because <laughs> if that's pretty, the yeah, it'd be yeah, pretty yeah, funny 100%. to do a squirty. Because, we, because I, if, I assume if we're on that podcast, we've like gotten significantly bigger and we probably have gotten significantly bigger by doing squirties <laughs> and things similar. So we'd probably be on the show to talk about our squirties. So I'd have to do one, yeah. I'd have to be myself there. And uh, show them my core, 
my center. <laughs> 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 oh yuck! Oh, oh fuck! Okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question is from um. Oh, I was gonna butcher names. Uh, Ab- fucking Abdil hell, Abdil Costello. No, I knew it. Um, Marty, would you ever let your hair grow as long as Michael's for a science experiment? I can't. Why? I've tried. I tried in high school to get some long wispy hair but it just stops growing at a length my hair is not it's never been good what if you like lost a bit Why to grow your hair just go to like here he used to have a wispy fringe and it would curl out a little bit on the sides like a it's like a surfy fucking bit longer but yeah. yeah i could i could never grow it ever grow it not 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 me <laughs> So, yeah, I wouldn't know. That's why I like wigs because it's the first time I've never been able to do anything with my hair except comb it that way or comb it that way. Those are the two hairstyles I've had to choose from my whole life. Never got any haircuts, good ones. So, I just like to wear the wigs now. It's nice to fantasize about what it would have been like. Yeah, they look nice. I love the wig last week was so good. Susan, fuck me. She was a sick bitch, man. Yeah, she had a lot of um, a lot of demons. <laughs> yeah, she screamed at one point. <laughs> Just got her sight back. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's the funny part of last week's podcast. Yeah, last week's po- we enjoyed last week's episode thirty. We enjoyed. <laughs> I don't know about this one yet. I don't know. Next question. <laughs> Uh, next question is from Oz Barber. What was the last? Oh, sorry, Michael. When was the last time you pissed the bed or couch? Over a year. I've been good. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. That's full growing up. Like maybe since thirty. Yeah, you piss your pants about the same amount as like a normal like thirty-one-year-old now. Mm. Yeah, you like brought that right life. down. You brought that average right back down. It's good. Uh, next question is from Haddon. Um, I would like to hear the story of how both Michael and Marty lost their virginities. Losing our virginities was crazy, man. Yeah, I was a bit of a late bloomer. I was out. I was like 18. And man, yeah, my story is so fucked. Oh, I remember. I was, I was like so shit with girls in my like late teens. I was just so immature. We were just so fucking attention seeking and immature. Like girls just thought we were so childish. And just like fucked whenever we went out. We just all we ever did was just fucking trying to make each other laugh, come. <laughs> but anyway, out of the fucking down under bar with Henry, <laughs> and like, you know, we're just being wankers all night. And at the end of the night, there's barely anyone left. And then there's like this thirty year old chick, and she was all right. And um, yeah, she was just like, "Oh, do you want to come back?" And I went back, and this is a true story too. As we were walking to her house, I purposely left all the doors ajar because she'd go in first, unlock the doors, and walk through. I'd leave them ajar because I knew that, like, I wanted an escape route if if things didn't go to plan. That's fucking. That's smart. And then, thinking sure ahead. enough, you know, fucking whatever. And then after, I just fucking literally waited like five minutes for her to like fall asleep and then just slowly slid, slid out of the bed grabbed my shit and just fucking bolted out of that house and then he came back to mine at like probably like what five in the morning and we had coaching it was the seven. first time you'd smoked weed right yeah yeah she gave me <coughs> weed too and you were high as a kite and then we had to coach at like we got up at seven to leave to coach kids Man, I was so I was like, like not even you couldn't sleep when you got back to mine. Yeah, I was like trying to feed balls, like, and they this oh. fucking ten year olds <laughs> hit the ball back and like I'd air swing and shit. Dude, I've been there. So <laughs> fucked. Oh, it was a hard morning. Hard. <laughs> mine was, was when I was seventeen, I think, with a girlfriend on her period. <laughs> I think it was like a boat, a made-up bed out of twigs and leaves. Because her room was too close to her parents, 
So it was like <laughs> made of twigs and leaves. Turns out Michael lost his virginity to a bush turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> made a little nest just fucking slumped over it hauling it into his core and just fucking all like that on the big mound that they made <laughs> but yeah no we made up like a bed from all their couch pillows because we couldn't up because her room was next to her parents and then what and then it was it was shit were you i, I was sucked. so shit in bed yeah i was so shit in bed for like f- the first few years of, of sex it's fucking crazy. So don't worry, guys. You get better. The more you do it, it was a bit of late bloomer too. I think it was just, just really, we're just very immature for our age. So normal 18 year olds are like, you know, certain level of maturity. We're still running around like we're, we're like fucking teenagers. 30. We're like, Mike, let's still play with Lego. <laughs> I've never played with Lego. <laughs> On weekends, he'd get all these toys out, his action figures. <laughs> Army oh, pre- man. He'd pretend to make them fight and shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, like Transformers and shit. What, we'd go to the Wiggles. Beast Wars. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Good question. Sorry. That is. A, what about yours, Matt? When did you sling your fat brown up sly? <laughs> oh, Quince. Mine was <laughs> on <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh, really? Yeah. How old were you? I think I was 15 to 16. So, he s- sexually matured earlier. There was no way at 15 or 16 I would have been able to, I don't reckon. I would have like, never so seen fucking a girl shit. at that stage. Yeah, I didn't even really? know what a girl was. I thought everything was one. Yeah, like 14 was like when things like everyone started aiming for like sex and yeah, things like that. Yeah, it's from the Gold Coast. It's because you yeah, grew up you in the Gold Coast. You were Palm Co- Beach, right? Things fuck things you, way earlier on the Gold Coast. You were Palm Coast. Beach, correct? Yeah. Well, to be fair, friends and shit around us were. I was. I was also just waited because I was hoping I'd have a girlfriend. You know, one of my mates lost it at twelve, like going on thirteen. Oh, that's fucking Dude. kids. Yeah, he's a fucking kid fucker. His girlfriend was older. She was thirteen, so she was in high school. Oh my god, that is a fucking a wow. kid is a pedophile. That kid <laughs> is a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, it's sort just of. Uh, people were just doing it around me so much earlier, and then. Yeah, not pressured to do it, but it's it just, expected. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, I want to get it done. I want to get off, get to that that yeah. first one done. You want to get, and off. then I was shit. I was shit house at sex. Yeah, I had a couple of good ones, but yeah, I was pretty horrible. And how did you how did you stumble across it? Was this one of your victims or something? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was um, it was like my first proper Me- my first proper girlfriend. romantic one. Well, the first girlfriend I that I liked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a cute little chuckle. <laughs> so that, that's that's the question, huh? See, uh, we next question or. Yeah, no, we're still going. Uh, so, uh, next question. Um, boys, why does Julian always look like he needs to shit? Um, I think he's uh, there's a lot going on in his head all the time. He's got a lot of things uh, going around. He lives like six different lives. And he's just it's just a lot for him to consider all the time. So, it looks his face looks a bit strained sometimes because there's just so many thoughts fighting to come to the front of his brain. I love seeing him when he's like, when you sort of get his attention from his phone and he comes back to reality. Oh, yeah. He, he just sort of like takes a while to adjust. He's like, Ooh. where am I? <laughs> like, sometimes you wake up in, in your bed and you don't know where you are for a second. That's what he's like after, <laughs> after looking up from his phone, isn't it? <laughs> At Toka, we've seen him do that. Just walk straight off and go straight to the phone and like, yeah. hey, man, we got a game to play. Yeah. Um, next question is from. <laughs> Windham. <laughs> it's like condom and window together. A Windham. A Windham. You can put like a glass around your dick. A wow. glass tube, see? And then you have sex with that. Windham. It's a window condom. It would. What if it shattered your No, fuck? it's thick glass. It won't shut up. Plus it adds girth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you sold me. Um, <laughs> hey, boys, how long will your break be between a season three and season four? Um, so we do 40 episodes per season and then we usually start the next season like mid-Feb, is it? Yeah, it's always February. Start of February, usually end of January. Yeah, so um, it's like, I think it's like 12 weeks or something, is it? There's a little break. Yeah, it must be 12 weeks because we have 40 episodes and there's 52 years in a day and that equals 12. So 12 weeks. Wow. 
that's a long time of have off, isn't it? But we'll be planning and doing shit. And we'll hopefully we'll get some shit animated during that 12 weeks <laughs> to keep everyone going. So, <laughs> what was that? Um, <laughs> next, uh, final question is from Esno. Esno? Yeah. Um, uh, Marty and Michael, do you guys have any <laughs> doppelgangers? Yeah, Michael has heaps. Michael's like, most oh people God. look like Michael. <laughs> Um, oh. But the Risa most fans, everyone's always told me. Yeah, the the Nickelback lead singer. Oh, get a lot. Fuck. What I, I said one fans over that. <laughs> but yeah, mm. who else? Um, fucking oh. Ryan Dunn. That uh, that DJ dude. Skrillex. Ah, uh, fucking uh, what's that guy from Notting Hill? Yeah, that's oh Reese Evans. Reece, oh, is yeah. it Reese fans? Oh, whatever. Uh, fucking hell. What are you, bloody French or something? Yeah. Farms. <laughs> yeah. As a, if you've Spike watched- from Notting Hill. Yeah, yeah, Spike, Spike from Notting Hill. Spike from Notting Hill. From Notting Hill. <laughs> Brad Pitt beats, a, beats the shit out of a guy in the Tarantino film, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And he's like a, a very ugly version of Michael. Thank you. <laughs> ah, but yeah, there's tapes out there. remember that one. Should we start a segment? Oh, it's hard for the people listening though. They, can't really they can send it to the fully actual. Yes, if you guys find doppelgangers of us, send them through to the fully actual Instagram. Okay? We'll put them on the story. Yeah, yeah, we'll put them, we and we'll post them on, some. We'll we can post put them, them as on well. The podcast. Well, yeah, and we can post them to Instagram and shit as well. All right. And we'll, so just fucking send some. If you find someone that looks like us, take their photo and send <laughs> it to us, man. I apparently get called like I look like Boyd Cordner. Who's he? That football player. I think yes. Yeah, I've also said, heard I don't um, think so. someone said, um, "Oh fuck, what's a <laughs> Boyd Cordner? Fuck me, what's an AFL player made a fool of himself at the Brownlows because he's smashed and he's hosting?" Jonathan Brown. No. Is he Favola? Is he Brendan AFL? Favola. Was that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is someone said, "Might have been Brendan Favola." Jonathan Brown. Yeah, that's the name of a football player. Fuck, that was good then. You were you were contributing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's question time. Thunder! Oh, fucking <laughs> scared the shit out of me, man. Holy fuck. That is loud, isn't You know it? you know what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it hurts your ears. And this is a segment where we explain shit for you guys. Last week, we explained some shit. We didn't have anyone write in anything they want to explain. So, Matt's going to no find crimes, some- And no crimes. And no crimes either. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Send in your crimes. Maybe we need to start doing stories again, reminding people, because we got heaps of shit whenever we did that. Remember? Remember? Yep. <sighs> What's um, up, Matt? So, Matt's going to find some shit for us to explain. Um, how okay. do you get... How do you get ringworm? It's- I shit you know, it's one of the top ones that came up. <laughs> <laughs> ringworm is a skin fungus. It grows and it itches and it lives like on your skin and shit. You get it from being dirty. Have you ever had it? I don't think so. Yeah. I've had kids in oh, high yeah, school. Oh, yeah. I got it when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Kids, yeah. Are, kids in my primary it's like school had it heaps. that big maybe? Does yeah. it itch? Oh, nah, yeah. It, oh, the, ones, the ones that I saw, the boys, the boys were itching it like that. Would you, would you get one? Yeah, I'd get one if I could. And let it grow and live and breathe. Just let it be. So that's how you get ringworm. You have to be like a real dirty little fucking cunt. Anyway. Sorry. What is an acronym? An acronym? It's like an acronym is like a cross between like an act or a bat and... Um, like cinnamon. The cinnamon the herb. So it's like a, a herb that is also capable of uh, acrobatic uh, maneuvers. It's like a superfood, I guess. Yeah, because it's like acrobatting and shit. How do you toilet train a kitten? Um, you put it in a bucket of water. And then when it pisses, you pull it out of the bucket of water. So, you're slowly teaching it that um, you know, it's rewarded when it pisses in the bucket of water. And then you slowly put it in the toilet. And then it pisses there. When it pisses, you pull it out. And then um, after a while, it'll just go to the toilet every time, man. I've seen it work, man. It's like a shower it could too. Drown. It might drown. But it, like you get to clean every time. So. Yeah. So you take the good with the bad. It might drown. High chance. 
If it flushes first, then it has a clean. It will drown. How does space affect the human body? So, when you're in space, in a spacecraft, how does it affect the human body? This one's... We've done this one before. Yeah. And, man, you don't even want to know about it, eh? Say that gravity's not all that you're told. <laughs> There's things that go on up there. They don't want you knowing about, man. And the effect on your body is you become a fucking piece of shit. With no gravity on your organs. You got organs floating around. You can get your heart, arteries and shit all Twisted. mixed it up with your fucking ribs and shit. I've seen like knots. And man, you want to be, you want to be with it. Let Gives you heaps of tumors. Heaps, heaps of so many tumors because there's nothing that the gravity's not there to suck it out. It's it's bad. Who built the pyramids in Egypt? Look, I don't want to. I don't want to get the guy in trouble. I, like I know his name, and we have met him once, but. I don't want to like because you know if they came out I think there's what what do you say I think only like 15 people know yeah a couple of Freemasons already said too much but um, yeah yeah this guy we don't want to get him into trouble but yeah it's just this guy from fucking Brizzy how long do butterflies live <laughs> 48 hours do they no it's yep. got to be longer than that <laughs> seriously no yep no I used to, yeah no is that true Matt no. It used to be one. No. Really? Fuck. Was that before we met? Yeah, it was a different life. Had oh. to do it repeat for a while. It was like a... A cycle. I got some bad karma. So, and he got like... A butterfly was pretty good. Cocoon. Better than an ant. Cocoon. You come from a cocoon. Yeah. Well, oh. I had to do the caterpillar shit I think I've seen you do that too. Well, we made a video about it. It's on our TikTok. Cocoon. So, <laughs> Oh, Bosley wants to pipe up, does he? All right. I went from caterpillar to butterfly. You filmed it. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's it. <laughs> anyway, keep that segment coming, guys. We need oh. things to explain, all right? We can explain anything, anything you want, all right? Now, Matthew Brown, he comes running in saying, holding a newspaper, saying, stop. Stop everything. And he read this news story out loud. Really? Oh, yeah. He was fucking like, he has to show oh, you guys. Yeah, okay. What is it, Matt? What is it, Matt? What's going on? What happened, Matt? Oh, this is in America, which I oh, think no. it's in Tennessee. I haven't been to that sea before. All right. A man. This is a news story. Man, at 39 years old, cuts off his penis and threw it out the car of a window as he was being chased by police on the highway. Says he heard voices on the radio telling him he would save the world. It would save the world. Oh, my God. Whoa. Would you do it, though? Imagine if you all of a sudden did hear voices in your head and said, quick, cut your dick off. Otherwise, everyone in the world will die. Like, it's pretty, like, shocking. And, and like, if it's like just a really clear, like you, you completely, like we are right now, totally sane. I'd do it. Yeah. And then it's like, you need to cut your dick off right now. Like, it, just, it just made me think about how we were saying we'd pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. He might have been thinking like. <laughs> well, he might have. Well, the voice could have been it? saying you've got 60 seconds and he's just like us. Yeah. From last week, we said if we had 60 seconds left. Like, was it a dirty cut, cut or did he pull it up a bit and scissor in? Oh. Imagine just scissors, snip. Oh, it'd be, just come off so easy, I reckon. One, if you oh, pulled it taut enough, snip, just come straight. <laughs> it just at the right at the base, snip. Like I reckon, you wouldn't even need to cut through the whole way if you're pulling tight enough. You just snip a little bit, and then you can just tear the rest off. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Just oh. a small incision on the side. I'd rather try to rip. <laughs> That is such a strange feeling. I wonder what that would feel like. Oh, it yeah, worries me. You're just ripping your dick off, cunt. Freaks me up at night. Rip your dick off, man. Rip your dick off it's for a, a video, video, dude. It's a video. We should do a challenge video. Rip your dick off, man. <laughs> yeah, rip. Oh, right, what here? All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> 
I reckon we'd get arrested pretty quick. Yeah. Let's do it. Put your back into it. (laughs) 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 All right. Let's moving right along to the PO boxing (laughs) segment. We have three letters. Two are addressed to Julian. We'll be opening them first. So. (laughs) Oh, they are him. I can see the handwriting. Every time. It's so interesting. You sense it's like, he must just fucking spend a day just writing us letters. Dear Julian, I'm black because I have purple cock. We should fuck one day. And then he has a very inappropriate word. I rubbed my dick, foreskin, nutsack, and nutsack hair. And uh, he's got a little, uh, like a circle of where he rubbed those things on. Oh, I'm sickened by touching that paper. Did he jizz on it? No. No, he just rubbed his balls and shit on it. You can see it's like all curly, the paper there. Oh, wow. It looks liquidy. All right, here we go. Last one. Dear Marty or Michael, I'm Davor Rubicic. On your season three and episode 27, I agree with Andrew to make separate video for podcast. And for Michael, stop being a pussy and do the... Do the codes if the cunt sends them in or not. Do the codes. All right. He's working with him. And Marty, I have one question. Do you think Michael's mum is hot? I think she is. P.S. Michael's mum is fully actual. Um, yeah, fucking she's... They're working together. That's some weird shit. Yeah, this is, this is, uh... I believe the... I'm uncomfortable. What he's talking about with the separator, the videos, I believe I remember the comments... He was asking for um, a separate PO box section. Oh, separate, really? just in one video, I think. I think. Flying. <laughs> All right, that's the PO unboxing. Um, and now, fucking, it's prank call time, guys. Yeah, let's get into it. Uh, now the prank call this week. <laughs> it's a good old fashioned um, Domino's call, and I'm gonna cycle through all three characters. It's hard work. It's like split personality. It's very difficult to do. Hopefully, I'm not too high now. But we will see. So, Arnold Fine, Margaret, and Darren, and see if they, like, pick up on it. But I'm worried that they're just going to not say anything and then get to the end of the order. Then you go tell them. And then I'll be like, weren't you confused at the... Yeah, maybe ask. Yeah. Maybe that's the punch. What do you think about that, my brown? I think you guys are stoned. <laughs> yeah, we fucking oh. are, mate. We definitely are. Yeah, we we have learned not to because we, we last, last yeah. week's episode was, was so good. We're like, fuck it. Maybe it's because we were stoned, and we read some of the comments. People were like, oh, you guys should be stoned all the time. Yeah, and, yeah, but just not too much. You guys went. It's a little I bit. think because I haven't eaten either today. Oh, uh, dude, you got to eat. Uh, I've got no energy. Uh, 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 so what did you it. do all day? I don't know. I just had like, I did, I had like a couple of bananas and an apple, but I didn't have like a proper meal. Domino's f***ing Yeah, g'day mate. Can I just place a um, pick up order, please? Pick up? Yeah, mate, pick up. Yeah, boy, there's order. Um, look, can I get, um, there's a few of us, so uh, just bear with me. Um, can I just get two large uh, meat lovers, thanks? Two large meat lovers? Yeah. Anything else? You have um, uh, fresh uh, pork, uh, pork pizza, or uh, you have uh, no pork, only uh, beef. Sorry. You have uh, pork like a pig. Huh? You have a pig a pizza or ham and cheese. A ham and cheese. Um, okay. You have uh, pulled pork or no? Uh, pulled pork. Yeah, like pulled pork. So. You know, like uh, shredded pork and that. He's don't know that. I don't think so. Um, well, what, what are they, like, pork pieces and that? I thought, like, Domino's had, like, heaps of, like, um, pork and that. Uh, we got ham and we got bacon. Yeah, right, yeah, the menu must have changed since last time I shopped there. Um, yeah, so, I'll get those two. I'll also have a margarita, thanks, and I'll get some extra oregano on that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So, it was, uh, two pepperonis and then a margarita? Who is this, huh? You were tell you tell me, uh, you read or order back, huh? 
Uh, yeah, so there's two pepperonis, margarita, and was there toppings on the margarita? Oh, your fresh topping, a little flicking around, a little, uh, you flick, um, you flick a sauce, you have a sauce, you put sauce on the, the flick it on the top. Yeah, which sauce? The, put, um, the white sauce, I know not the name, the name doesn't matter, the white sauce, put it on the, the top, eh? The garlic sauce? Yeah, the garlic sauce. That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Look, what sort of drinks do you guys have there? Uh, a bottle or can? Uh, bottles, like. How many, like, um, bottles you've got, like, um... Uh, pepperoni. I'm sorry, enough. Pepperoni, bloody drink. What are you, bloody, on about, mate? <laughs> what are you fucking Pepsi. on about, pepperoni drink? Out? <laughs> Pepsi. Pepsi Max. Yeah. Mountain Dew. Seven up, solo and sunkiss. Uh, put uh, the Coca Cola. I get the uh, two Coca Cola. Hmm? Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi. Yeah, same thing. Pig, uh, pig dog. Anything else? Uh, side. Uh, I want um, uh, the bread with um, uh, the cheese on top. Uh, the you bread, you know bread? the bread. Yes, yeah, the garlic bread. Uh, I have a one of them, and uh, <laughs> you have a key to pizza. Yes. Uh, simply cheese. Yeah, yeah, Simply Cheese would be great. That's for the teenagers. Um, so I'll get two of them, thanks. And um, look, do you guys have any other sides? I'm thinking maybe some wings. Wings? Yeah, some wings would be great, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Do you want three wings or five wings? I'll have five wings, thanks. Yeah, five wings! Little. Get your ring done! Order back to me! Sorry? Can you uh, read the order back to me? I uh, could not hear. Two pepperoni, a margarita with garlic sauce. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. All right. the Pepsi, cheesy garlic bread, simply cheese, and five wings. Oh, no, I'd rather fucking put it all together. What, what do we come out with, mate? Sorry? But we're going to put it all together. How much cross of it? 38.45. Well, yeah, 45. Yeah, no, I've right. got a 50. He's got change, right? Sorry? Have you got guys got change? Change, small change. If, if I come in with $50 cash, do you guys accept cash or just card? Yep, uh, we can do that. Yeah, great. Okay, I take, a, I take uh, my uh, horse, uh, I come down maybe 10, Do you have a name? Uh, yeah, my name uh, Arnold Fine. Sorry? My name uh, Darren. Arnold? Margaret. Margaret? Arnold Fine. Mate, my name's Darren. Darren, D-A-R-R-A-N. Margaret. Darren? Margaret. Am I not being clear enough? Margaret. Okay, Darren, that'll Arnold, be... Arnold, fine. Who is this, huh? You speak to 45. me, huh? Who is this, huh? You uh, put me down, huh? You do not write my name down, huh? I do not want a record of me being in a pork, pork store with a pizza, huh? You cross my name out. Okay, Margaret. Yes? That'll be... That should be ready in 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, look, um, we might have to cancel that order. Just uh, one of the uh, characters that I'm playing has uh, changed his mind. And uh, I think I'm going insane. So, yeah. Cancel the order? Yeah, mate. Yeah, look, um, fuck it. Fuck it. Just cancel it, mate. I'm going to have to just fucking whip something up in the kitchen right now. <laughs> Who is this, huh? You a speaker to me, huh? You fuck. I fuck your wife, huh? <laughs> oh my! Oh, dude, that was great. That was good art. Round of applause. On, that was well honestly, done, dude. that was one of the best ever prank calls I've oh, ever seen you do. Really? That yeah. was up there with oh, wow. some. The ability to change, master. I thought you. I thought that was going to be a struggle. But you did it really well. And when he did the asking of the name thing, oh. and you went Margaret Arnold, and just went back and forth, <laughs> that was fucking incredible. <laughs> and fuck your wife. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. So well, there, good. There you bloody have it, guys. You, um, you got through every single catchphrase of all, of all the characters. Yeah. In one go. Oh, yeah. I can't believe they don't know that because it's always the cringiest. So chill with it when they know it's a prank call. Like, how do you not know that that's a fucking prank Maybe, call? I always f f feel like it might be a teenager. He's like, oh, I think this is fake, but I've got to. I'm scared to lose my job. They have to. They have to do it. They're legally. <laughs> they have to. Otherwise, they can like get fined like big dollars. And sometimes oh, they I wonder where arrested. Dakota was. Oh yeah, Dakota. 
Is the meat like fresh? <laughs> oh, fuck. We should have brought her out oh, next week. All right. We are the fucking best. We've proven it again. Next week, we're not going to have weed before, but throughout. And that's the best thing to do. And we're the best. And our OnlyFans is live. Go and enjoy. Feast the content. We're the best. And don't forget to comment if you want. Yeah. And subscribe and like the video too, okay? Only if you want to. And share it even. Too. Yep, and share it too, if you want. If you want. No, no pressure. Because well, now it's like the end of the podcast. You can get up from wherever you're listening and you might have a bit of time. To, I don't know. Just, just yeah, throwing it out there. Anyway. I might go for a wee. All right. You guys want to come? <laughs>